There is a way LIC can acquire a major stake in Yes Bank. Now what is the stake? Let us see. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to this channel then make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you could get the latest updates and what not guys. Try it out. So as for our friends are speaking that whether uh, yes bank can be acquired by life insurance corporation of india or uh, state bank of india in this video we are going to see it and what a right guys i don't know this week i mean in january month i think this is the best week for yes bank traders as both shorters as well as uh, long position traders and buyers are benefited from this trade this share was pulled down up to 36 rupees and yesterday the high price was 45 that means 10 rupees jump in a week or so. So people who have both positions would have benefited guys. But if you tell me from this down of 36 to rupees 45 or 43 as per closing delay, you could ask me what is the main reason. The main reason was the State Bank of India chairman's speech. He said finally that we would not allow S Bank to collapse or S Bank to while away. That means once upon time. The State Bank of India chairman said that Kotak Mahindra Bank is the best in place to acquire Yes Bank. So now you may ask a second question: Whether a bank can acquire another bank? Yes, guys, there is possibilities. You mean in the way of amalgamation, they can acquire a lot of banks have been acquired by another banks when the financial position of the bank or not stable. So second question you could ask me: Whether LIC of India, Life Insurance Corporation of India, can buy it? So before seeing that LIC can acquire this Bank of India, you should know that already LIC is having around 8% stake in it. The proof is here guys. This is the shareholding pattern of this bank as on December 2019. As you can see here, Life Insurance Corporation of India within various schemes, they have bought around 20 crore shares that means 8% in this Bank of India. Then you may ask a second question then why not LIC buy the total stake or any other conditions LIC has bought any other banks. Yes guys in I think in 2019 or 18 July month they have bought out the full stake in IDBI bank. I mean they, they, they turned the shareholding into 51% in IDBI bank and that is because government gave the permission to acquire. Now it depends upon the government policy and the cabinet meeting whether a finance institution may buy this bank. But if the February 7 EOD meeting is not being done properly, then there will be a chance of this. But after all seeing this, guys, the government should approve this buying because one insurance company cannot buy easily a stake a major stake in a bank now you people are asking when oil reliance industries cannot acquire guys they are in the industry list and as per rba norms they can acquire only five maximum five percent investment only guys so that is the problem why big investors are not able to invest in banks so if there are any policy emissions or omissions that can be given then a big investor may come and invest. So guys, as per this Life Insurance Corporation of India can invest in S Bank, guys, that is only with the government because if they can acquire a 2% or 1% investor, but acquiring a major stake in a private bank or in any other institutions require a government nod or cabinet nod before acquiring because the government is the major shareholder in LIC as we all know guys. So government should give the permission if LIC should acquire or could acquire this bank. And this is what I want to say in this video. Hope I have conveyed what I want to say. If you like this video then make sure you leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe yourself for more videos like this. And see you in another video very soon guys.